you put that side. Are you going to help me? Oh, really? Just there. Come here. And here we have the meadow sweet, Philippendia ulmaria. This fantastic little plant has both uses in the culinary arts and as, as medicinal, as a medicinal uh, plant for us. And we've been using this for literally hundreds of years. I'm gonna show you how. One of the key identifying features this time of year is this lovely little white flower, it's delicate white flower. Um, some people liken it a little bit like the, the elder flower in its kind of color and, and how small and delicate it is. Um, has a very distinctive smell. It's very sort of perfumed and sweet probably lends itself to the name perfectly, meadow sweet. The key though, for me, is when we look at the, uh, the branches coming off the main stem, is this nice deep red color, and the fact that the leaves are trifoliate. So one, two, three, and then you have this same pattern going the whole way down, which is these two little leaves, then two larger leaves, then two little leaves, then two larger leaves. Okay, so these are bracts. Leaves come off in nice, even, symmetrical bracts all the way back into the stem grows to be, well, how tall is this on me? Yeah, it's probably gonna come up to about chest height. Doesn't get much bigger than that here in the UK. Um, and once we have a look at the roots, you'll see another key identifying feature. What I'm trying to do is try to make sure I can get the whole root bundle up as a one -er. This one's cleverly positioned itself underneath a much larger log for protection. I'd probably be doing the same. What I don't want to do is snap the root. I want to get as much of the root as possible. Okay, I see it now. Brilliant. We've got this massive root bundle here. Now underneath all of this, this small stuff, there's going to be something there it is, I can feel it. Quite large and substantial, about the size of my thumb, going off at this angle. So now that we've collected the plant, we'll head back up to the main camp and I'll show you just how you can turn this into a very, very useful cup of tea. I'm just removing some of these really fine feeder roots on this large root bundle and it, because it's the tap taproot that I'm after containing some of the highest levels of salicylic acid found in the natural world H even higher than those found in the willow family so I'm just going to keep tearing these off and then we're going to chop the root off and begin preparing it to make a beautiful uh, infusion see how bright pink it's going cool I really smell that you can see all this pink color coming through What I'm getting there is rugby club changing rooms, mm. under 15s, combined with the earth on it as well. That is <laughs> literally the smell of deep heat. Um, germaline, uh, erythmol, toothpaste, that pink coloration you see there, where it's oxidizing, that's all contained within this root. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut the root off. And you can see, you can see inside. Okay, we're gonna do away with that now. You've got this. Um, you've got this. This almost like instantaneous. As I start peeling away at this, hopefully I can do this finely enough. You'll start to see this lovely pink, really vibrant pink colour underneath. Can you see that colour there? Okay. Pretty much everything that involves salicin or salicate or any other variations thereof has this pink colour running through it. It's a really, really good sign rub as much of it as possible with my hand because what I want to do is get rid of all the earth and I want to get rid of all the kind of this like yeah this earthy outer and then I'm going to thinly slice this up and I'm going to place it inside a nice sort of uh, glass cafetiere 
and so when we pour the hot water on there the kettles on the fire we'll be able to see it go that kind of cloudy color as it's releasing all of that chemical uh, constituent blend into the water okay and then when we drink that we're then going to start reaping all the benefits straight away the benefits of this are uh, I mean it's everything from a uh, anti-rheumatic okay so people with aches and pains I was a Royal Marine for 11 years I was a bricklayer before that and I've played rugby my whole life very very active person so I've got all kinds of aches and pains I sound like a crisp packet when I wake up in the morning but I'm almost certain um, that having regular cups of tea this really really helps it is after all where aspirin is derived from um, albeit modern medicine is a, a chemically reconstructed version of the chemicals found inside here this natural method is is the way that I prefer to uh, to ingest this stuff I know there's no nasty side effects. I can have this without having to have a full stomach. I'm not gonna give myself stomach ulcers. Um, now we, we're obviously focusing on, on the sort of uh, pain relieving side of things and, and kind of helping with swelling and stuff like that. It's really, really good for your skin. But this thing just works really, really well in harmony with your body, okay, both inside and outside. It's great for stomach, as a stomach relief, um, relieving agent and uh, and is, is widely renowned for that as well. So let's get on and chop this up. See that color, it's amazing. For anyone who's new to the channel, hi, I'm Nick Goldsmith, founder of Hidden Valley Bushcraft. We specialise in bushcraft, forest school and reconnecting people through nature and the outdoors. Okay, that's pretty good. Probably bosh the end through on there. That's it. Chop this up thinly. Now there's a strong theory to suggest that the root has actually given some of its energy further up the plant to create the flower, so it seems only right to put the flower in as well. After all, it's all going to be filtered through. <laughs> Literally just going to leave it, you see it's already starting to get cloudy. Not long. Sometimes I encourage it. And what I do is I just give it a few pushes and a few pulls. Just lift it all up. What do you think, Philly Moo? Should we try some? I wouldn't say it's particularly overpowering. It's certainly not strong tasting as the as the root smells you know this doesn't this doesn't bring back memories of under 15s rugby club deep heat strong kind of flavors this is, is actually quite mild um, looking down into the cup and if you can see this is a, a gentle green color to it that's probably coming much more from the flower than it is from the root but um, part of the reason I was discharged from the armed forces as well as stuff you know mental health type reasons I had to have another knee operation and I've got an ankle that might as well be made of chocolate. So from time to time things flare up and this is my go-to straight away. Straight on the meadow suite. <laughs> Can't go wrong. <laughs> 